and welcome back to the breakdown. Today, I want to teach you how to add mods to Minecraft 1.15.2 servers. Now, first and foremost, I am assuming that you've already got your Forge server started. If you don't, you can check out the eye at the top of your screen or the description down below. The second link down below, actually, will take you off to a video on how to start a Forge server. It goes over everything you need to know to make a server that you can add mods to it. You cannot add mods to a bucket server, a spigot server, or a vanilla Minecraft server. Vanilla being just like a normal Minecraft server with no plugins or anything on it. You must have a Forge server in order to add mods to it. So that is something that you need to make sure you have. And if you want to set up a Forge server in the easiest way possible, our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting, will be perfect for you. You can check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown. That XYZ slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server running Forge 1.15.2 up and running in under five minutes. It's a super simple, super easy process. It's hosted on Apex's hardware, meaning you don't have to worry about things like lag and stuff like that. And on top of that, it is also DDoS protected, meaning you can make it public. You don't have to worry about anything with an Apex server other than just playing, having fun, and obviously adding your mods to your server. And speaking of adding mods to your server, Apex makes that very, very simple via their online file FTP editor. You can go on there and add as many mods as you want in just a few clicks. They also have an incredible 24-hour support team there to help you out. But nevertheless, if you want an incredible Minecraft Forge server quickly and easily, you can check out Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link down below. The breakdown of XYZ slash Apex. Nevertheless, what if you already have your Forge server set up? You found this video via that video, or you uh, found the other. You found this video first, and you went and watched that other video. Set up your Forge server. Now you're back on this video. What do you do? Well, first and foremost, you will need to install Forge yourself. You will need to install Forge for Minecraft single player, as will anyone playing on your server. So that's very, very important to note that anyone playing on your server has to have Forge installed. On top of that, they're also going to need all the mods that are installed on your server installed in their single player Minecraft as well. So that is a bit annoying. It's one of the downsides of a Forge server, but luckily we do have this in-depth tutorial, which is linked as the third link down below on how to download and install Forge. And it's going to show you how to get it in Minecraft single player, right? I know this is 1.15.1 right now, but by the time you're here on this video, you will be, it'll be updated because I literally recorded the 1.15.2 video right before this video. So it's not there yet, but it will be very, very soon. So when you come here, It'll teach you everything you need to know to add Forge and get Forge for Minecraft single player. This is great for your friends. It's also great for you if you don't have it already. But if you went through our tutorial on starting a Forge server, guess what? You've already got it and you're good to go. So at that point, let's go ahead and get some awesome mods. So first and foremost, I'm going to be installing three mods, really four, but three main mods in this video. The first being Just Enough Items. This is linked as well as all the other mods in the description down below. Just Enough Items is a really cool mod that basically allows you to see, as you can see over here, all the different items that are added to Minecraft. This is helpful when you're running mod in Minecraft because mods add a ton of different items in with a ton of different crafting recipes and just enough items allows you to search for those items in those mods and then click on them and actually see their crafting recipes all directly in game without having to do any googling or anything like that. Super, super helpful and something I would recommend for all mods. So when you go to the description down below, it's actually going to take you to our tutorial on getting just enough items, but what you want to do is click on this yellow download button. It's going to take you off to their official download page. Then on the right hand side of the screen, scroll down and you'll see Minecraft 1.15.2. Under that, you'll see Minecraft 1.15.2 as like a, a version number there, right? See? So then you want to click on that purple download button to the right of that version. It will then go ahead and take us off, and after five seconds, the download will begin in the bottom left. Boom. There we go. Download begins in the bottom left. You will need to keep this file. It's 100% safe to keep as long as it have JEI, which is just enough items abbreviation, and ends in .jar. Ours does. We're going to keep it. I'm going to sell Firefox. You need to save that in the center of your screen. Now, the next mod we're going to be installing is Biomes of Plenty. I wanted to do this one because it's a bit different than most other mods. It requires biome generation. And how, how would you do that? How would you generate a biome in Minecraft on a server with biomes of plenty? How would you do that? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So it's very, very helpful. This is a mod that I would not recommend running a server without, right? If you're going to run a modded server, have biomes of plenty because it adds in so many awesome, cool things on modded servers. So that's why we're going to be doing it today. Same thing if you go to the description down below, that link's going to take you to our website where you can click on this yellow download biomes of plenty button. Once once you're here, you want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down, find that Minecraft 1.15 section, and under that, click on the purple download button under the Biomes of Plenty 1.15.2 version. As you can see, 1.15.2 there. Click on that purple download button, and it takes us off where the download will begin in five seconds. We'll also need to keep or save this file, depending on whether or not you're on Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. You're good to keep it as long as the title, Biomes of Plenty, is in the well, title of the file. Now, for Biomes of Plenty, I'm actually going to do something a bit different. 
And I'm actually going to go back to the download page here. I'm going to keep this open for later because all of this information right here is starting the server. And it's a lot of times easier for me to walk you through it there and then do it than it is to just do it. So we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download useful backpacks, which is also linked in the description down below. Same thing. Come over here to the right-hand side. Find the 1.15.2 version there under the 1.15 section. Click on that purple download button. Wait five seconds. Download it, and it's done. However, Useful Backpacks does have what I call a library or a core mod, basically a mod that it needs in order to run, and that's going to be called U-Team Core here. So if you come over here to the right-hand side, under the 1.15 section, you'll have 1.15.2 there. Again, click on that purple download button, and the download begins in five seconds, and you will need to keep the file. Now, these are three awesome mods. Useful Backpacks is great. Bombs of Plenty is incredible. Just enough items is a must-have for any mod in Minecraft playtime, but... They aren't the only Minecraft mods out there, and they're not the only ones out there for 1.15.2 either. So we have an incredible top five best Minecraft 1.15.2 mods video where I go through everything. All of the best mods that you can currently get for Minecraft 1.15.2, guess what? They are listed in that video. And on top of that, on top of that, we have two bonus mods. So really that is seven mods there that you can get for Minecraft 1.15.2 to get you started off on the right path for your server. One of which is actually this one, Xero's Minimap. Awesome minimap mod. You can find the links to all those in the description of this video. But anyways, let's go ahead. Now we can minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have just enough items. We have biomes of plenty. We have useful backpacks. And we have the U-Team core mod, right? Now, I also have these two unconfirmed things. That's just where those files are, in fact, still downloading. I'm going to drag them out of the way so you all don't have to worry about them. But nevertheless, we have these four mods here. So how do you install these? Well, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is open up your Forge server folder. You should already have a Forge server folder if you used our tutorial to get a Forge server. Open up your Forge server folder here, and then in here you will have a mods folder. See this mods folder? If you don't have a mods folder, guess what? You don't have a Forge server. Go use our tutorial to start yourself a Forge server. Then let's go ahead and double click on our mods folder here, and then let's drag and drop all of these mods, right? Bombs of plenty, just enough items, useful backpacks, U-Team core. We're going to just take all of those and drag them right on in to our mods folder, right like so. Now, we're not done just yet. We still need to install these in our single player. So let's go ahead and do that. To do that, click the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left of my screen. For you, it might be in the bottom left of your screen. It's going to be in the top or bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon. And then go ahead and type in run, or are you in? Run, right like so. Then they have this run desktop app. Click on that. And then in here, in this like text box, you want to type in percent, app data percent, and hit enter. So when you do that, it's going to open up your roaming folder here. And then you're going to have a dot .minecraft folder. See, roaming folder, and then dot .minecraft. And then you should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? Well, no worries. It's not a big deal. Just right-click, create a new folder, and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then what you want to do is take all of the mods from your server over here, highlight them, right like so, right click on them, click on copy, and then come over and open up your mods folder, right? And then right click in your mods folder and click on paste. It's then going to move all of these, right? It's going to copy and paste them basically from your server folder into your local mods folder. All of your friends will need to put all of these mods into their local folder as well here, into this local mods folder on their computer. If they don't do that, they won't be able to join your server without any issues. So nevertheless, we've done that. Let's go ahead and go back and start our modded server. So run.bat file gets our modded server started right on up. You'll actually be able to see in here that it is enabling these mods. Now, normally you could just join right on in and you would be good. But we are going to be using Biomes of Plenty today. And I want Biomes of Plenty in our world. I want all of those biomes set up and in our world. So after you run this for the first time, you're actually going to stop your server. Now one of the downsides of using Biomes of Plenty is you have to start your server with Biomes of Plenty because it does require deleting your world folder. So as you can see, our server is set up here. There is the done right there, meaning it's meaning it's, it's set up. But we can go ahead and stop it and then it's going to close everything out, pressing the key to continue, and we're going to start off by deleting this world file. No, only do this. Only delete your world file if you're okay with losing everything you've ever done in that world. I've never done anything in this world, so I can go ahead and delete our world file, no problem. Then what we want to do is double click on our config file here, and then in here we'll have this biomes of plenty folder. So we've double clicked on our config folder, then we have the biomes of plenty folder, double click on that, and then in here we have the server.toml. Now I'm going to double click on that and it's going to open with Atom. For you, you may need to open it with Notepad or something like that. I prefer this Atom text editor just because it formats things nicer when you're working with the YAML files, which is what I use on Minecraft servers all the time. But this, is, this, this isn't that. We're just going to wait for this to open with Adam and then once we're in here we can say use world type right use Bob's a plenty world type on a dedicated server use world type true 
boom, simple as that. Go ahead, save, you are done, right? Now, if we come back over here to the Bombs of Plenty mod page, right, because I wanted to explain this, to use this mod on your server, delete any existing worlds, we did that. And make sure the use world type option is set to true in configs, bombs of plenty, server.toml. We've done that. Now, set level type to server and server.properties to biomes op on 1.12 and below. We're not on 1.12. We are on 1.15.2, meaning we do not have to do that. And then it does note that existing worlds can be changed with an MBT editor. That doesn't apply to us either. So we're done. Now we can go ahead and double click on our run.bat file. And this time it will generate our world with biomes of plenty set up right so that is awesome stuff there once this server is started we can join on in game join our server test everything and then we'll be good to go now your first startup here is going to take a bit more time because bombs of plenty is generating it's getting everything working getting everything rocking and rolling basically getting everything started it's going to take a while right but that's okay because it's generating these awesome biomes for you and just a modded server in general is going to take a lot longer to start than a vanilla server i've seen modded servers take about a half an hour to start yeah I'm not joking. And then we're perfectly fine after that, but it does take a while to get it started. So as you can see, we're preparing the spawn area, and then we do have the done, meaning our startup is finished. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now we've already installed these mods locally. We did that earlier in the tutorial. We just wanna make sure we're selecting the Forge version. There it is. And then we can go ahead and click play. At this point, it's going to open right on up without any problems. However, we do wanna make sure when we're on the Minecraft main menu that the mods are installed by clicking on the mods tab. So we actually could see that they did pop up right there. We're good, but just to be safe, double check. Always double check, triple check, quadruple check before you, you know, try to join your server and it doesn't work when you could have prevented it and prevented the stress of having to join the server and troubleshoot when you can just check it right now so anyway from the Minecraft main menu here we can click on the mods folder and in here we will see useful backpacks check U team core check that's required for useful backpacks and bombs of plenty just enough items check 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 we're all good we have all the mods we need then we can go ahead and click on multiplayer and what is that play.breakdowncraft.com the best minecraft server in the multiverse we have two incredible grief protector survival servers medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player-based economy aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy and a looser restriction on redstone it's pretty fun and then we do have skyblock which is an incredible custom skyblock server with op enchantments and a ton of fun so come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip but let's to connect to your forge server you just want to click on direct connect and then when you click on direct connect here this is hosted on my local computer so i'm just going to join off of my ip like before address no problem it's just 192.168.1.123 sorry i forgot what it was there for a second but nevertheless you want to join off of that and then click join server you're going to see it log in over here and we're going to be all good we installed them mods locally we installed them on our server and we're good we're, that's all we needed to do and we spawned right on into a palms of plenty biome here if we do FN F3, we will see that we are in Biomes of Plenty, a Meyer biome. Now, I am opt on this server, so I can go ahead and do game mode creative and fly around and see that, in fact, we do have this evergreen biome here, the Biomes of Plenty coniferous forest biome. And, uh, yeah, just all sorts of awesome Biomes of Plenty biomes here. I think that is a rather good photo there. So let's go ahead and really quickly just boom, boom, right like so. That's a pretty good screenshot for our... Uh, for our thumbnail, don't we think? Look at that, I love it. But nevertheless, if you have any questions about getting your server started, specifically getting mods in your server, let us know in the comment section down below. Bombs of Plenty is installed, if we hit E, there is just enough items. For example, if we wanted to search up like, um, I don't know, what is in Biomes of Plenty, there we go. If we wanted the Hellbark, for example, that you can get in the Nether, there it is. We've also got all sorts of other Biomes of Plenty items in here. If we click on through, we'll be able to see we do have the palm fence, for example, the willow wood stairs, all sorts of stuff like that is in there. Even the saplings for like the palm tree and all of that is there. So pretty cool stuff to get that. You can also see how you can get this hellbark planks, right? You see that there from the crafting recipe? Want to make this fence? There you go. Want to get these planks? There you go. Want to get this wood? You can't because you got to harvest it. But nevertheless, that can all be done with that mod there. And then we do want to have the useful backpacks mod. Check that out. So we've got the small backpack, the large backpack. And then, of course, a medium backpack here. So we can see there's the small backpack, there's the medium backpack, and in fact, there's the large backpack. And we can put our other backpacks into our small back or into our large backpack, right? Like so. Is that confusing? Probably. But nevertheless, all of the mods are, in fact, installed perfectly. But nevertheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it did help you add mods to your Minecraft server. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com. And I am out. Peace.